let's go to another question. How about if we, um, let's tackle something which might be pretty straightforward and simple. We'll see. How do we manage turnover and staffing during strategic planning or plan refreshes? So this is the challenge. We have people coming, people leaving. How does that, how do we lean in and support strategic planning or refreshes of strategic planning when we have a rotating door of turnover going on in the organization? Here's, here's one thought that I've, that in my experience, I found very uh, effective. When we are designing strategy and we're getting into action planning and we want to assign accountability and ownership and championship of those initiatives, it is okay to assign it to a role, not a person's name, especially if that person doesn't exist. Um, it was it was funny. I was working with an organization and we were getting into sales and marketing and kind of like the whole business development effort. And we were putting a person's name in there that hadn't even started yet. And what I saw was like this person upon in their onboarding is going to get really overwhelmed by what they were just given and assigned to and not even part of the journey. So we ended up kind of backing it off. Don't put the name in, let's use a role. Put the role, not a person's name. And Jeff, maybe you could talk a little bit more. And certainly, if anybody else has any any other ideas, I just added in Jody's uh, comments here. Um, looks like Matthew does two two shakes. Matthew, um, document as much you can in cross functional teams. Good idea. Love that. Um, and I wrote down maybe a role, not a person, or maybe both. So that's kind of yeah. cool too. Um, maybe we can come back to a point I wanted to ask you about, Jeff, too, and everybody's kind of thinking about this too, is we can assign things to roles, but then people's DNA needs to be, be like, you know, you walk into a role and you're like, oh, great. Somebody just had me the entire HR strategy and nobody asked my opinion and I'm the new VP of HR, right? Like, how's that going to go down? So um, that's kind of interesting from a, from like an onboarding change perspective. Um, but Matthew uh, has his hand up. So Matthew, yeah. take it away. Yeah, the the value of visual tools really comes to mind for me. In you know, part of turnover is all right. How are we bringing new people up to speed? You can read fifty pages of documentation and notes, or look at the Miro board with a bunch of stickies. And while the document is certainly going to be more complete, have a lot more detail to it, that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to digest it and absorb it in the same way. Uh, so to me, the one of the key factors here is, well, how can you quickly get the broad strokes in place? Um, and tools like Miro really factor into that for me. And Matthew, just to, sorry, just to summarize the thought on that too, is to take somebody back through the journey. Yeah. I would, I mean, is that like... Take take them back through the journey uh, or even just the existence of, hey, this meeting happened a month ago, but here's the Miro board that we generated from that meeting. On your own time, look through it. Some of it's not going to be accurate anymore because it's been some time, but that also provides that historical context of yeah. well, what was the thought process that led us here. Um, and by also enabling them to review it on their own time. It also means that they're going to be looking at it when they're receptive to getting that perspective rather than like, all right, before this meeting, read this document. That doesn't mean you're in the brain space to absorb that kind of information at that moment. Great idea. That's an awesome, yeah. Jeff, Jeff has his hand up. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to add something else and that is that I think there's a difference between the, the strategic plan as a document and the strategic plan as an organic part of the organization. And I think in some cases where there's centralized leadership that's creating strategic plans, the impact of staff turnover or changes in staffing can be felt in a much greater capacity 
Whereas if the strategic plan and the strategic planning process is embedded in the organization, meaning that there are multiple layers of participants across the organization that are contributing, strategic plans owned by more than a small group of people. So the um, opportunity for the strategic plan to be insulated against sort of that kind of turnover gives gives the plan an opportunity to stay intact. And I agree with what Matthew was saying, you know, obviously bring new people up to speed, you know, run them through the plan. It's it's just a little, I think, I think when strategic planning is viewed beyond the document itself, it really creates an opportunity for that ownership across the organization to just provide a little bit of insulation and keep the momentum going forward. Um, whereas, you know, plans that are designed by small groups of teams are impacted in a much greater way where a changeover in a in, in a person that has more control may, you know, may delay or create a roadblock or something in the way of continuing that momentum. So I just wanted to give, I just wanted to offer that, that perspective as well. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Well, let's, let's wrap on a couple of key takeaways on this one, because there's another question I really want to be able to spend time on. Um, so I think, okay, don't rely just on the document, use visual tools. And I think also a key takeaway here is allow people, allow new hires to be part of the journey. Like, how did you get here? Why did you get here? And what was the outcome? And that needs to be part of the onboarding process. You know, the, the artifacts collect, save the artifacts used in the creation of strategy that will help people become part of the journey. And um, Jeff, Jody also added, sorry, everybody, I'm struggling with Miro today. Miro today it's hilarious. Um, Jody also added making space for uh, new ideas, of which, of, you know, certainly, right? Which, of course, um, so the balance of like, yeah. Leaving this, leaving the plan a little bit undone, but also moving, you know, moving th things forward. So um, I think that's really fantastic. And it looks like Jeff has his hand up too, unless it's a, a legacy hand. It's a legacy hand. Okay. okay. Thanks, Jeff. You have challenges with Miro. I have challenges. Just it's Thursday morning. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Allow, um, allow space for you know, those being onboarded to have a voice and to influence the outcome. No, nobody likes being handed a fully baked cake and said, and say, now you have to eat the whole thing. And maybe the other takeaway um, that Jeff commented on too is this idea that it is a, it is the way an organization runs, not a document from but from a, a couple of people, right? We and we know that that's not that easy. 